Welcome back to my physics class. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about how to solve horizontally launched projectiles, or HLPs. Solving HLP problems is quite simple if you follow these steps. Step one, draw a picture. Remember, you just need the physics of what is going on and not a Picasso rendition. Step two, make an X and Y chart. Step three, label the knowns and unknowns for each component. Step four, solve for the side with only one unknown or one question mark. Depending on the question, you may be finished after step four. If that isn't the case, use your answer from step four and step five in order to solve for the other unknown on the other side. For the X component, use equation one, V equals D over T, which is the same as VX is equal to delta X over T. For Y component, you will use equation five. Remember that there is no initial velocity in the Y direction. Therefore, VIT does not exist. So the y component equation becomes d is equal to 0.5 a t squared. Let's look at the following problem and proceed to solve it step by step. Wiley Coyote runs off an 80 meter high cliff at a speed of 18 meters per second. How long is he in the air? How far away from the base of the cliff does he land? First, draw a picture. You should always write acceleration due to gravity as negative 9.8 meters per second squared and then label everything else. Next, make the X and Y chart and label your known and unknown values. Just like the picture, negative 9.8 meters per second squared for acceleration due to gravity should be the first thing you write on the Y component side. The cliff is 80 meters high, but since Wiley is falling down, his displacement is negative 80 meters. He is running at 18 meters per second, so that is the horizontal velocity, or Vx. The first question is referring to time which is the first unknown variable. And the second question is referring to how far he lands horizontally from the bottom of the base, or delta x, which is the second unknown variable. Remember that time is shared by both the x and y component. Now that you have labeled everything, you can begin to solve the problem. Remember that you must solve the side that has one unknown variable, which is the y component side in this problem. For y component, you will use the shortened version of equation 5. Pay close attention to signs and don't forget to take the square root. Also, as I've mentioned in previous lessons, time can be negative. In fact, you can not take the square root of a negative, so that should serve as your clue if you forgot to have delta y as a negative number. Now that you found time, go back and put it in both sides of your chart. Now you will have only delta x missing from the x component, which means you can solve for it using equation one. And just like that, after a few simple steps, you've solved the 2D kinematics HLP problem. Always make sure that you have the correct units and box your answers. You should go ahead and pause this video now and work your way through these problems. The steps and the answers are at the end of this video, but you should practice on your own. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.